Hey folks, this is Fishing Bass NC. I'm coming at you with a couple uh, openings for the month of April 2022. We have the Mystery Tackle Box Elite. We're going to be opening that today, showing what's inside. And we also have the Monster Bass bag this month. Um, Rick was telling us that we're not going to get bags for a while, but he had some left over in inventory and he uh, decided to send out the Monster Bass stuff in bags this month. Um, so we're still going to get a few boxes in the next few months until uh, some of the inventory comes in again. So let's start off with the Mystery Tackle Box Elite for April of 2022. So here's the box. We're going to open it up. See what's inside. All right. First thing I like to do is I always grab the paperwork and all the literature out of the box. Um, and then we actually take a look at the baits that are in the box. So this month we have, again, the Dibble Digest. This is full of uh, tips and tricks and all kinds of great things uh, to read. So uh, I'd highly recommend taking a look through this pamphlet, you know, reading it, um, seeing what, what, what's going on in the world with fishing. Um, again, great tips and tricks out of the Dibble. Next thing we have is a card that says it's the Headbanger Spitfire. So we're going to have one of these baits in the box this time. Um, It'll tell you a little bit about the, the bait itself. On the back of the card, it tells you a little, about, little bit about where to fish and all that great information or how to fish this thing. So, uh, again, that's the Headbanger Spitfire. That'll be in a box. Next one we have is the sticker of the month. This is a Catch Go sticker. It looks like it's an alien catching a nice fish out of the water. Pretty cool looking. That thing will make it on one of my tackle boxes. Last thing we have in a box for literature is the What's Inside Bass Elite box. So it's going to tell you what's inside the box. It's going to tell you also the prices of what's inside. And uh, it's pretty close to uh, suggested retail price, the prices you see there. So we'll start from top to bottom on the card. First thing is the Headbanger Spitfire. The thing we just saw the, um, the card for. And here we go. We have the Headbanger Spitfire. It's a topwater bait. Uh, let's see if we have some more information on it. It's four and a half inches long. It's in the holo silver color. So there's that bait right there. Nice topwater bait. Let's take it out of the box. Show you a little closer, closer view on this one. So everything on this is solid. There's no rubber parts on this at all. Um, it is jointed, so it will do some erratic action. It does have a lip up here in the front, and you're going to tie that on to your uh, fishing line, pull it through the water, and this is going to give a little splash as it's pulling through. But there you go. There's, there's your color. Pretty nice bait. Really sharp hooks. Yeah, they're very sharp. All right, that one comes in at $14.99. Again, that's the Headbanger Spitfire. Let's see if we can get back in the box here. All right, it's not perfect in the box, but we'll take care of that later. Again, $14.99 for that bait. The next thing we have in the box is by Team Arc. It's a square bill crankbait. It's a CT35. So there you go by Team Arc. There it is in the box. I'm going to take it out of the box, give you a little closer look. This is a floating crankbait, so it'll uh, crank down three to five feet. It's going to float once it gets to that depth. Its uh, length is two and a two and sixteenths, or excuse me, two and one eighth of an inch. Its weight is three eighths of an ounce, and again, the depth is three to five feet, and it's a floating bait. So here we go: the uh, T Mark Square, Square Bill Crankbait CT35 comes in at seven dollars and ninety-nine cents. There's a closer look on the bait. Sticky, sticky hooks on that one as well. There's the front. Nice little bait there. 
All right. The next date we have, oh, sorry, that one comes at $7.99. Don't remember if I told you the price on that or not. Um, the next bait we have is Razor Custom Tackle Prop Knocker. So let me find that bait in here. All right, so here you go. Here's the Razor Prop Knocker in the chartreuse color, chartreuse and white. It's 3 eighths of an ounce. Nice, uh, nice bait there. I believe I have one of these already in this color. If I do, this will go in one of my giveaways. But I'll, uh, I'll have to investigate. Same thing with the uh, arc. I think I have one of these in my, um, also in my tackle already. So again, if I do, I will put these in, in a giveaway for future use. Um, anyways, that Razor Custom Tackle Prop Knocker comes in at $7.50. Next thing is the Mullix GT Football Jig. So we have the Molex GT football jig. This is in the color, they don't give a color, it looks like green pumpkin, pretty much. Uh, there's some blue there as well. Um, it's The color number is 127. It weighs 3 eighths of an ounce, has a 4 out hook on it. Um, looks like it's the Carl Joachimson signature bait. So there's that right there. It's in the, yeah, it is. It's in the green pumpkin, red, purple color. Again, they, they use the number 127 for that particular color. And there's that jig right there. So that looks pretty decent. That comes in at $5.79. Jigs this time of year usually get the job done. So I'm looking forward to putting that on the line and casting it out there and see what we can get. Next thing is the Beast Coast Fishing Working Man Swim Jig. It's $5.79. So we have another jig in the box. I like the colors on this one. Um, let's see if it tells us exactly what color it is here. It does not, but we look like we have a little bit of a red sparkle. A little fire red, maybe. Also does not tell a weight on it. Um... Yeah, that's something I would love to see on, on the um, on the packaging would be at least the weight and uh, size or, or color or whatever. Um, you know, I'm not not crazy when when people don't put that out there. It'd be nice to know, um, but it's not going to stop stop us from using their baits. Um, but it still would be nice to know what the uh, color and what the size is and everything. But that particular bait comes in at five dollars and seventy nine cents as well. Next thing we have in a box is by Aaron's Baits. It's called the Dragon Tail. So this is a uh, soft plastic bait. Again, the color is not on here and the size is not on here, but it looks like it could be a four to five inch uh, plastic bait. And it looks like it's probably a green, green pumpkin or or just a light green color. But there you go, that's the dragon tail. There's the little, has these, ri these ridges right here and then it has a tail at the bottom, similar to a dragon figure. A little stretchy. Has a little bit of an odor. Um, you know, your typical plastic smell, but maybe a little bit of garlic as well. Um, hopefully that'll get the job done. But anyways, that Aaron's Bates Dragon Tail comes in at $5.49. And we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's a 10-pack here. They do have the size. Sorry, I, I didn't see that on the front. It is 4 inches in length. Um, a 10-pack, again, for um, $5.49. All right, next thing we have is the Z-Man Goat. So we have this in a watermelon red. We know Z-Man plastics don't play well well with others. We do know though that they're very stretchable, um, so they last a long time when you're when you're putting it out there. Um, they do usually have a garlic 
pretty good garlic smell. And they do. They, they got a really good garlic smell to it. But there's your... These will come apart. You can either cut those legs apart or you can just pull them apart like that. Just be careful. Um, again, the Z-Man stretches a long way. So it's a very durable bait that um, you'll be able to use for a long time. And you won't won't be wasting these things. So any Z, any Z-Man baits you have, they uh, they're that Elastec material, and again they last a long time. That particular one comes in at four dollars and ninety nine cents. It's a four pack. It's in the watermelon red color, as I said before, um, and it's three point seventy five inches in length. The next thing we have is by Lake Fork. It's a Trophy Lures Hyper Freak. So we have, uh, let's see, they have garlic in them and salt. Um, they are three and three quarters of an inch in length. It's the water watermelon candy and red flake color. Again, the Z-Man, or excuse me, the Lake Fork Trophy Lures Hyper Freak at $4.55. These have a lot of garlic on them. So there's, a, there's your creature bait, kind of a paddle tail here at the bottom. Uh, it's a little stretchy, not much. Little side antennas there. That'd be great as a trailer on one of those uh, jigs that we pulled out earlier. And I can see the tail flapping in the water as we're pulling it through on, on a jig, swimming it. All right, again, those were at $4.55. Looks like it's a one, two, three, four, five, Let's see, one, two, three, four. It looks like a seven pack, maybe. So, still a good deal. Four dollars and fifty-five cents. Can't go wrong with Lake Fork lures. They're pretty good. Next thing in the box is Spear Point Performance Hooks. These are two dollars and ninety cents. There are three of them. It's a three out. We told you about these before. They have the little bit of an angle there, which is supposed to help you catch the fish and hang on to them better than a normal hook. Um, they do work. I have fished with these and they work well. Um, do they work any better than a normal uh, J rounded hook? Eh, sometimes some people may say yes, some people may say no. Um, I think they're on par with those. I don't know if they're any better or not, but still nice hooks. They're pretty, pretty solid. Again, it's a three-pack, three-out size, and it's $2.90, so a little bit less than a dollar a hook. And that's pretty average for most hooks you buy out there um, that are of any quality. Anyways, that's all that's in the Mr. Tackle box. So we're going to throw this stuff back in there, and then we're going to get to the Monster Bass uh, bag that came this month for April. And uh, we'll show you what's in that in just a second here. Okay, hey, we're going to put the box aside, we're going to bring out the Monster Bass bag, and we'll show you what's here. Um, just to let you know, I am on the pro staff for Monster Bass. I'll have uh, a link down below in my description, and you can uh, save yourself some money on save yourself some money on, on a bag or any other stuff that you buy at MonsterBass.com. Um, I do have an affiliate link with my, uh, Mystery Tackle Box as well. The link will be down in the description for that. So if you use that, you can get yourself $10 off a box for uh, Mystery Tackle Box. And uh, you can also uh, check out Shop Carl's while you're there. The membership, it's a great deal. You pay around $49 a year. But the amount of savings, if you're a person that buys a lot of baits or tackle or whatever um, in fishing, it's a great place to shop. You can save anywhere up to 40% on different supplies that you buy from there um, by being a Shop Carl's member. And it usually pays for itself. So check it out. All right, same thing with Monster Bass. We're going to grab the literature out of here and see if we can go down through that. And I don't... I think the literature tells you now in order um, of what is in the bag, but we'll just pull each item out, talk a little bit about it. It does give you, um, this, this year month we're doing the Carolina rig, 
So it does give you tips and tricks on, and some lessons on how to rig it um, and how to fish it. So I think it has four or five lessons in the book and um, some information. It tells you next month we're going to be coming out with the drop shot for Monster Bass. So that'd be a drop shot, drop shot box specifically. Um, but this month again, Carolina rig, that's what we're focusing on. Here's the sticker for the month, Rise and Glide. Pretty cool sticker. So we're gonna put that on one of our one of our boxes or bags. All right, we'll start off with some of the hard baits here. We have the Lucky Strike. This is the uh, Lucky Strike American Original. This is a, a um, crankbait and it looks like it's in the deep smoothie. Oh, it's called, excuse me, it's called a deep smoothie. It's in the Marty's Party color. Um, it is three-eighths of an ounce. It dives about five to eight feet in depth, and it's two inches long. So there you go. I believe I have one of these as well. If I do, again, I will throw this one in a um, giveaway box that we'll be doing soon. So... Uh, Stay tuned. If this is not there, I'm going to be having a box soon anyways, because I did promise one for my birthday, which was in March. I'm a little late on that, but I'm going to, I'm going to give, do a giveaway um, pretty soon, and I'll have a video up on that and how you can win it. All right, next thing is the Vicious Fishing. It's the Ripper 110. Its length is 110 millimeters. Its weight is half an ounce. It's a floating bait. It does dive a little bit. Uh, it's a jerk bait, um, but it floats as it goes down. And the color is Sexy Shad, so there you go. Again, I might have one of these as well. If I do, this one will go in one of the giveaways coming up soon. All right, next thing we have is another arc bait. This one is the CT57. This is a square bill crank bait. It is two and a half inches in length. It weighs uh, 17 30 seconds of an ounce or of ounces, I should say. Um, its depth is five to seven feet in when it dives. And the color on this is Mix Mystic Gizzard. So there you go, there's, there's that bait right there. All right, next thing we have for hard baits. Oh, we don't have a hard bait, but we have some Carolina rig kit from Monster Bass. So we have the uh, the different weights in here. It looks like they're they're giving us a quarter ounce and a half ounce weight. These are tungsten, so good stuff there. But there's all the stuff you need to get going with a Carolina rig. Nice of Monster Bass to put that in there. Uh, next thing we have is some hooks. We have one, two, three, four, five pack, uh, three out size. These are Saber Tooth Series EWG hooks from Monster Bass. There you go. They gave us a five pack. That's a full pack there, boys and girls. That's nice. All right. Then we have by Grander Bass Fishing Lures. It's Green Pumpkin. It's the Airtail Wiggler, 6.5 inches. It's a 10 pack. If you're open up. It's garlicky. Very garlicky. Looks kind of look a little bit like a Senko a little bit, but then it kind of tail, you know, tails off here at the end and then it has a bulge at the end. So nice little bait there. Not too stretchy, but stretchy enough that it should get the job done. All right. Next thing in the bag is by Z-Man. We have another Z-Man product here. It's the California Crawl. It's the Boar Hog uh, California Crawl color. There are uh, five in here. It's four inches in length. And again, Z-Man's stretchy, so. And very garlicky, as we talked about in the last, pa last bag there. But there you go. There's, there's this, uh, this bait that they have. Nice little side, side appendages here. The tail. Very stretchy. Again, that Elastec that they use. Um, and if I didn't mention it already, 
you want to make sure you don't put the Z-Man soft plastics next to other products. Um, they interact and because of the materials are made of, they cause the plastics to go bad. So be careful when you're using Z-Man products and you have other stuff with it. Um, last thing in the bag, looks like we have a Neko. We're going to open this up. We will grab a pair of scissors here to open the top. Okay. We have a Neko, and this one has the Monster Bass logo on it. And pretty much, that's that's the that's the Neko right there. So you have you have the Monster Bass logo on that side. There's one on this side as well. But it looks like a little bit of blue scale color. Very cool. These these are really nice, especially when it's just a little cool outside. You know, if you got it over your mouth, um, you know, even though it's a thin material, it really protects your lungs and your throat from the cold weather. Um, so I highly recommend, you know, using a Neko um, or something similar to uh, protect you from the elements like that. Um, and then, of course, you get the, this month they had the bag. And I told you right now, um, they're running short with supplies. They're waiting for some of the stuff to come over from overseas. So uh, I believe they're going to go back to boxes again next month. Um, but hopefully Rick's trying to get these bags in stock and he'll be getting them soon for us. So um, those of you that subscribe to Monster Bass or um, or buy Monster Bass boxes, um, hopefully you'll be getting a bag soon. So um, stay tuned for that. Anyways, um, I'm Fishing Bass NC. My name's Sean. And uh, that's been your Mystery Tackle Box and your Monster Bass Box for April of 2022. Down in my description, again, I'll have links for how you can get your own mon uh, Mystery Tackle Box as well as your own mi uh, Monster Bass Box. And it will save you a little bit of money with both of those links. So um, you can help me out by clicking on them. I am a uh, pro staff member with Monster Bass. I get a little bit of commission when I sell. It um, doesn't cost you anything extra. It's just Monster Bass gives me a little bit of a kickback that helps me be able to get products like this to show you as well as uh, it helps me to get some uh, stuff to uh, go out and fish with. So we're going to be out there fishing. I know there's uh, been some people that say I don't fish, but I do. Um, I just want to let you know I do fish. Um, I don't usually put videos up if I don't have any luck. That's one thing. Um, but I will be out there fishing and hopefully get some stuff so I can get you some footage of some of the local waters that I'm fishing in here in North Carolina. And um, anyways, if you hit that subscribe button, that would be appreciated as well. Uh, go ahead and subscribe, turn on the notification bell. That way you'll be alerted when I do post new videos, such as the video of the giveaway that I'm going to be doing soon for my birthday. Um, again, it's a little late. I was supposed to do it in March, but I'll be doing it either at the end of this month or beginning of next month. So stay tuned for that. There'll be a, a pretty good... Uh, prize box for that and uh, it'll tell you instructions on how to enter and all that good stuff um, also down in the description below uh, I have several other social media links links and um, I sure would appreciate it if you would follow me on those I have Twitter Instagram and Facebook as well as YouTube um, so give me a follow out there you know I'm gonna be posting some other stuff on those channels as well um, some tips and tricks there might be an occasional giveaway. I'm going to be starting that sometime, I think, this summer. I'll be doing that on Instagram. Uh, maybe uh, bait of the week or something. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. i got to figure out what I want to do with that. Um, but I sure would appreciate it if you follow me. Again, the links are down in the description below. Um, next time you go out fishing, hey, take a kid. Take a kid fishing with you. Um, it might be their first time. It might They might have been out there a few times before. Um, anyways, it's a great sport. Great to introduce kids to that, and it's it's a life life learning um, experience that once you take them, and if they enjoy it, they'll you know they'll be doing it for life. So you'll be helping them out with some kind of a great activity for outdoors. Um, practice catch and release. I always do that um, unless the fish is going to uh, die for whatever reason. Um, maybe it swallows a hook wrong, and gets stuck down inside where you can't get it out. Um, but catch and release that way. You know, everybody has a chance to catch those fish, and um, it's a good thing. So try and practice that. Anyways, this is Fishing Bass NC for the month of April 2022. 
fechado.